And I just want to show you how to make the bow roll adjustment. Um, it has a couple of adjustments, but um, this is the main adjustment here. This, this is what adjusts the bow. And I mentioned this in the previous video briefly, but this adjustment is on both sides, but you only have to make it from one side or the other. It's just a convenience to have it on both sides. But basically you're gonna need a big wrench because you need, it takes a lot of torque. What you're doing is you're, you're actually almost twisting shafts, steel shafts, so it takes a lot of torque to do it. And this is a fine thread which gives you a lot of torque. But as I adjust this, you're gonna see the bow. Oh, right now, I wanna show you with a, with a uh, straight edge. Right now, this is linear, see? It's just like any other idler in your machine. This, <clears throat> this is a straight edge right up against there and it's, it's just linear. Um, so what's going to happen is, as I adjust this screw, you're going to start to see it bow. Now the bow is, <coughs> is uh, I guess you could consider it slight, it's only about 3% of the face, so it's not a lot of bow, but you should see it bend. But the amount of bow is adjustable. So you can have a small amount of bow or a more amount or a, a larger amount of bow. Now, <clears throat> you can see that that's bowed. You can see it's bent or bowed. And then when I put that straight edge up on there, you can see now it's, it's definitely bowed. And then, as I said, we had when we ran it, we had that bow facing in the downstream direction. You don't want to penetrate the web completely with it. You want to face it in the direction that the web is flowing. And then the other adjustment that we have, like I said, we can adjust where that bow is. So if I do want to move the bow up or back, you can adjust that with this hand knob. And as you turn that, you'll see that bow is moving. If you watch the journal end too, you see that journal end move. So I'm actually turning the bow into the web now. So you have that adjustment as well. So different webs respond differently um, to um, how much, uh, where that bow is positioned and also how much bow there is. And that's why those adjustments are there. You'd have to experiment with your machine and see where the, with, what the best bow is for your particular web with the bow in, in which position, but those adjustments are there.